Welcome to Roughing It with Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. The Victorinox Classic is a mini Swiss army knife that's small enough to fit on a keychain. I bought mine more than a year ago from Cape Union Mart. They no longer have it listed on their website, but I have seen them in store retailing for 199 Rand. It's about 6 centimeters long and weighs 21 grams. But don't be fooled by the tiny size. This Swiss Army knife packs a lot of punch. In addition to the little keychain attachment, it also has a toothpick, a set of flat tweezers, A single simple blade that is actually remarkably sharp. I've managed to cut through a thick nylon strap on my stroller using only this blade. And a flat nail file, the top of which can be used as a screwdriver. On the other side of the knife, there's a cleverly put together mini pair of scissors. Lots of people claim to want a knife for self-defense, but I have a pretty accurate idea of my own knife fighting abilities. So what I actually want out of a Swiss Army knife is the ability to cut open my lunch or cut bandages in an emergency. An emergency like bandaging up someone who didn't have such an accurate idea of their knife fighting skills. Just as a random, completely non-specific example. I think I've already made this clear, but if you have fantasies of being some sort of ninja, and you want a pen knife that has throwing stars and katanas inside it, then this one is not for you. On a more serious note, there is something that's structurally slightly annoying. The keychain attachment can sometimes prevent the scissors from closing properly. It's not a huge annoyance and it's quite easily fixed, but it is a bit of a glitch. While many lightweight backpackers are probably going to want to convince you that smaller is better, just remember that a really small knife like this is very easy to lose and if you have very big hands it might not fit very nicely in your fingers. I must admit that I absolutely love this knife, it comes with me everywhere. If you also have one or if you have questions about it, please leave a comment below.